off the Florida coast. A young black tip shark is in pursuit of a bottlenose dolphin, more than twice his size. Yeah, black tip sharks, every time I've been in the water with them, they always behave erratically. They're like little kids on a sugar rush, kind of bouncing around. They don't really, really care about where you are. Uh, they just want, want the cheeky free snack. The shark's running a risk. His snack could attack. The shark comes to his senses and backs off. The team hopes to film their own dolphin and shark face-off with a fin cam. All right, one more. So we just finished checking the lines. We rebaited everything. We've got some fresh meat on there for the, for the shark. Uh, I think we actually got a shark on the line. As we were going around, we, we noticed that both of the buoys were underwater. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet. So like, for it to pull those, both those buoys down, it was going to be a huge animal. It's right, coming up now. It's coming up. Yep, here he's coming up. All right, hold on. Tiger. All right, got a bruiser of a tiger. I jumped in the water. The, the water around here is a little bit murky, so we couldn't really tell how big she was until we jumped in there. Ah, it's a big one. Yeah. Big female. Oh. <laughs> it's huge. I've filmed tiger sharks all around the world. However, jumping in the water here in Shark Bay with these just huge, just off the chart, ginormous mama bus tiger sharks just blew my mind. And it almost made some of the other sharks that I've been in the water look like tadpoles. Such a massive animal demands extreme caution. Our first priority is the safety of everyone involved, the safety of the animal, and then getting good science. Shark secured. But there's a problem. All right, this, this uh, hook's straightening out, so just be careful. A steel hook is the only thing keeping this powerful shark safely in place. And she's bending it. That's straightening. If she straightens it much more, this massive beast will break loose. Yeah, you are big, I know. Francis and Kirk have a decision to make. We can let her go, or we can try to do a workup, hope this hook doesn't straighten fully, and we lose her before we get the camera on. All right, ready to go on that? All right, Ash, you can come on over here. They decide to go for it. Come on up, Ash. We can probably get a tail on her now. Got it. We got a line on the tail anyway. Yeah. Once we lose control of the head, though, we're Keeping control of the shark's head is critical, especially with her size. A snap of the jaw could mean tragedy. Sorry. Ooh. And. This huge tiger shark swinging around with its teeth. Every time that shark shook its head, that hook straightened a little bit more. OK, Kirk, uh, incoming with the tape. The closest hospital is a six-hour boat ride away. OK, hand me the tape again. More than enough time for someone to bleed out if shark teeth meet human flesh. OK, I'm zero, Francis, zero, 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 zero. 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 OK, 3.8, 3.8. 3.8 meters. This monster shark is 12 and a half feet long. She's so big. And the hook is straightening. Ah, uh, it's probably gonna come out. If the shark breaks free, it could swamp the boat. Yeah, she's pissed. Or charge straight at Duncan. Get a little tight on the tail, eh? It's gonna get lost. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. 